of resistor and capacitor with a series resistor. This is the aggregate resistance between filler particles. This is RC, RC rather I would say this resistance is the bulk resistance of your composite system. This is the um, intergranular capacitance or junction capacitance. This is the more realistic picturization of uh, how a conducting polymer composite can be thought of. There could be like series of this kind of parallel combination of capacitors and resistors with a, a, a series resistor connected to that in, 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 in n number of ways. So what impedance gives is the, you know, it gives us not only the uh, DC resistance which could be uh, calculated from impedance plots but also the interfacial capacitance. So these are like AC properties uh, but I would just like to emphasize the effective dielectric constant of uh, composite system increases with respect to the expanded graphite loading. This could be understood because expanded graphite polymer, expanded graphite particles can be thought of as a parallel plate capacitor. The more the concentration of fillers you have, the interparticular distance is reduced and eventually it results in increase in interfacial or interjunction capacitance which is reflected in higher value of uh, effective dielectric constant and low frequency. So this, is, this, this particular plot shows the DSC plot especially the cooling part which has been shown over here. This gives us uh, some more information as to what happens to the crystallization temperature of uh, polypropylene when you add expanded graphite uh, nano sheets. I would say at this moment I would say na expanded graphite particles, nano sheets are indeed formed. The evidence will be shown to, uh, uh, shown to you uh, in TM picture in subsequent slides. Here you can see in PP when I add 4 weight percent of expanded graphite the crystallization temperature is almost like 13 degree to 14 degree enhancement in crystallization temperature could be realized. What it means is that I add this expanded graphite uh, nano sheets acts as a nucleating agents so that they just try to you know induce uh, crystallization of PP at higher temperature itself. So this is the this is this is the plot which shows that the previous slide showed what exactly is the variation of electrical conductivity AC DC behavior of polypropylene expanded graphite system when the composites were made by porter mixing group. When you go for melt crystallized PP expanded graphite composites, like you you make PP expanded graphite composite like the way you made it in porter mixed group, and then you just keep them in between glass lights and heat it to 190 degree so that polymer flows because the melting temperature alpha pp is 168 degree centigrade so that polymer flows in that process the, the the filler particles are dragged within them so that the interparticular distance is increased which eventually results in higher percolation threshold here you can see 6 what we obtained powder mixing route was 4 so when you when you just uh, you know take the uh, X-ray diffraction, XRD patterns, XRD of uh, PP expanded graphite composites with one weight percent expanded graphite, seven weight percent expanded graphite, this shows the reflection coming from different planes in alpha PP, like 110 reflection coming from 110 is the strongest. So in pure PP the reflection from 110 is the maximum but when you add it with one when you mix pp with one expanded graphite and melt the slice at 190 degree what happens is that the intensity of 040 reflection shoots up it increases so this is this is like you know it represents hkl right and uh, you know so 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 this this is a valid indication there is an orientation of planes which happens when you go for making composites in melt crystallized, when you make composites by melt crystallization route. So this is known as B-plane orientation. So you know there is a new structure which has been formed just I change the processing route. From powder processing I get this, nothing else. This is same as that of alpha PP. 
but when i go for milk crystallization you get a different structure because the reflection from different planes becomes dominant so accordingly the properties are totally different so why am i telling you know processing roots because ultimately you want to make a product say for example i have identified pp and 4 weight percent expanded graphite as my base material for making a bipolar plate i just go for injection molding you have to melt it you have to keep the temperature of zones in such a fashion that you know you just melt it and you make the product out of that if your melting temperature changes the crystallinity of your base polymer changes which eventually affects your electrical percolation ratio so what i would i would like to say is that uh, these aspects of uh, you know basics need to be very thoroughly probed before we just take the material or composite system for a particular application this is as good as this is valid even in emi shielding devices because you know the crystallinity of polymer also plays a dominant role for you know shielding um, radio frequency waves right so as i told you earlier this is what the porous structure of expanded graphite just the sonic gate expanded graphite in acetone and mix it with p and take the cross section of that you can see still nano sheet but it is more than 300 nanometers uh, and i would say this is agglomeration of nano sheets but you see you take the transmission electron microscopic picture we can very easily see the porous structure of expanded graphite has been broken and we get like very thin nano sheets i would say like these are uh, graphite nano sheets i would say because this you see that this is black in color when you go over here the sheets are somewhat transparent so we get like few layer graphene which is not quite easy to uh, just make so this process which we opt you know that results in high aspect ratio filler which eventually is used for reducing electrical percolation threshold so by and large what i would like to emphasize through this presentation is that conducting polymer composites offers you uh, a scope for as an alternate materials in 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 various applications i have not touched the solar cells uh you know as i stated earlier electromagnetic interference shielding devices or anti corrosion coatings or super hydrophobic surfaces what not so but one has to be very careful when you try to take when you try to make a material for a specific application you understand the requirement of that application and try to prove the basic aspects of your composite system try to tailor make it and then go for final end applications as other as otherwise uh, it will be uh, uh, attempt will be futile right and also we need to think of uh, how to reduce cost it is not only the process optimization one can carefully make suppose if you go for making nano sheets just you go and buy it this is very simpler process of making graphite nano sheets there are other ways of making uh, graphite nano sheets as well but one can choose a proper method whereby cost of uh, you know material development can be reduced and also these materials nano nano materials could be made available in bulk quantities because i am talking about an application where you have like say for example minimum of 10 by 10 cm plate need to be made or you know this 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 kind of nano materials could be used effectively to make a paste even thermal interface materials and etc so one and like uh, so polymers in broad like polymers offers you greatest scope which can be carefully designed you bring physics chemistry into it you just play with it i have not got into the blend system which also offers us uh, uh, you know a hand in deciding the end properties of the system so so finally with this i just would like to conclude this presentation uh, uh so means uh, this uh, nowadays like uh, not only like synthetic polymers people are working on uh, biopolymers based so it opens up lot of opportunities for young people to get into and try to work in that area for 
you know uh, betterment of uh, device fabrication etc thank you very much